What's up you guys, Keith Jamel here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn about the pilot compensation at Orange Air. We're also gonna cover some other items such as the fleet, some of the pilot requirements to get hired at Orange, and some other contract benefits. Stay tuned. Orange Air is a Canadian not-for-profit organization that provides air and ground ambulance services for the province of Ontario. And you'll notice they're all painted in bright orange colors. The fleet consists of 13 Augusta Westland AW-139 helicopters, 13 Crestline ground ambulances, as well as 12 PC-12 next generation airplanes. For the purpose of this video, we're going to cover the pilot compensation for the PC-12 airplane. A quick look at the bases show that Orange has 12 bases all across Ontario. Most of them are situated in the north of Ontario. First, let's look at the requirements to be a first officer at Orange. Currently, you need a commercial pilot's license, 500 hours total time, a valid IFR rating, a valid Class 1 medical, and a valid passport to work in Canada and the ability to travel to the United States, as well as a new requirement of having your know, immunization records with all your required vaccinations. Without further ado, let's talk about the first officer pay scale first. The first officer pay scale is a five-year pay scale, which means you top at the maximum rate after five years, which is pretty good considering at most airlines you top at the 12-year mark. A first officer in year one makes 45425 in year two 46106 in year three 46798 year four 47500 and year five 48920 as for the captain in year one the captain makes $90,115 in year two $92,809 year three $95,584 year four $98,000 442 year 5 101,386 and year 6 104,417 dollars the company also provides per diems if you're working at another base for breakfast $12, lunch $15, and dinner $35. One of the good things at Orange is that it pays its pilots a retention bonus for each and every single month that you stay at the company. For a first officer, depending on the date you get hired, it's only $500 extra per month, but things really start to get interesting when you become a captain. The retention bonus can be anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a month, depending on your hiring date. The purpose of these retention bonuses are to keep pilots at the current company. A lot of these companies understand pilots very well. They know that we like to go and fly for bigger and better machines because usually we get bigger and better pay. So these retention bonuses are designed to sweeten the deal to keep you at the same company. $18,000 a year if you live up north in Canada where the expenses are low can be quite good. In terms of vacation at Orange, it's based on the number of shifts that you'll get off. If you've been employed for less than one year, you'll get seven shifts off. Between one year to four years, you'll get 10 shifts off. And if you've been employed for more than five years, you will get 13 shifts off work. Now, before you feel like I'm trying to hype up this company, it has its own share of cons. A quick Google or Wikipedia search will show you all the different scandals that this company has faced. But because it's being funded by the government, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you're a pilot and you want job stability, this is the company for you. So there you have it, another pilot salary video. If you like this type of videos, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.